Well, we've all seen videos on Mr. Prepper, but this has got to be one of the most insanely cool bunker builder games I have ever seen, and one of the most insane World War II building games I think I've ever seen. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to Project Wunderwaffe. Today we're going to build ourselves a bunker to hold off the Allies on both fronts and launch a weapon of ultimate destruction. Thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Let's jump in. Well, from my understanding, just outside our base, we're able to build base defenses and slow down the Allies' advance and stop them from dropping bombs and trying to send troops early. And all the way down this railroad track, inside this very long tunnel, is the humble beginnings of our base of world domination and destruction. There it is. Our little warehouse here where we can see everything inside. We've got copper and uh, steel beams and gold and wood and other things like that that we're going to build our base with. Let's go ahead and start by building ourselves a few things that we'll need. Humble beginnings with just a tunnel, elevator, and a water pump. Elevator is a good idea to start, I guess, to go deeper underground. Where below us, yes, indeed, there's copper and things like that. There's some already to start. Let's go ahead. Wow, there's a lot of materials down here. Look at that stuff. Coal, iron ore. Uh, copper, looks like there's uranium down here too, and stone and some other things for us to mine out. Excellent, including gold. All right, let's go ahead and build a tunnel. We can go further to the right side. There we go. We should be able to build a building in there somewhere. That should be a good spot right here. Excellent. All right, let's build an elevator shaft. All the way down here. That's good. Very good. All right, the tunnel is being constructed. We can upgrade these buildings, too, into different types of, um, I guess, security levels. There is a chance for a cave in at a tunnel, and in a uh, elevator shaft, we can make things faster and whatnot inside the base. Go ahead and put down our first item, the water pump. We'll need that in order to build our power generator, so let's get that water pump down. Excellent. Love the details on all the rock and all the buildings. We can actually see a great detail inside. Concrete, we have ourselves some uh, wiring, piping, lights, doors, switches, all sorts of other things. Wow, even writing on the walls. What does that say? Click or tap subscribe to be... Oh, okay. Huh, they want you to sub. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't speak German. Okay, well, let's go ahead and build ourselves a power generator next to that. So our water and power rooms will be down. And now we can build the command center. Find out what's happening in the war fronts. Support allies. Check the progress and check the... Vi Ooh, the vitality of our base. That's right. There can only be one Highlander. I mean, uh, command center in the base. Okay. Let's build our command center over here. And let's check out... Wait a minute. Two minutes and 19 seconds for our next transport. Okay. We've got gold, research points, electricity, water... And, oh, we got cable and wood coming in two minutes and nine seconds from outside via the train. Oh, sabotage. Oh, that's a hideous noise. Wait. 
There we go. Ooh. We just built the power generator and somebody's trying to sabotage us? Yeah, get on the phone. Find out who the hell that was. And order us a pizza, too. Are you on the phone? Okay. Anyway, let's see what else we can do. Ah, our research center. Go ahead. This is where you develop the most threatening technologies. All right, let's build that underneath the command center. Keep it nice and safe. Good. 15% complete. What else can we build? Oh, we can check out the fronts. Yes. We have the northwest, southwest fronts, and eastern front. Oh, wonderful. Anybody who doesn't comment high down below will be sent to that front. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Check that out. Energy, workers, water, science, pipes, cement, gold, iron spools, steel tubes, cables, stone, copper spools, rebar, and wood. And we can also send gold to the front to buy us more time so we can fund the war effort on any of these three current fronts. And there's our location right there just in the south. Right there. Right smack dab in the middle of all of it. Interesting. Love the sound effects and stuff. Really good stuff. Alright, research is ready to go. We got our science team inside. Excellent. Good. Good. There may be a variety of weapons for us to work on. Ooh, here we go. Tier 2 and 3 available. Not in the playtest. Oh, that's right! Yes, if you've watched this far, then go ahead and comment a little rocket emote down below and know that you can download Project Wunderwaffe today for free in their playtest. Yes, Wonderful Waffle can be downloaded today. Let's start with mining. Oh, wait. First, got to research the project. Get things kicked off. A little welcome party for our science team. Oh. And I hear our train has arrived. Wow, nice. We got a German uh, sentry with an MP40 just standing by. Awesome. And the train has arrived with all of our war spoils. Oh, you can actually see it offloading stuff out of the train. That's amazing. Stuff being delivered from the flatbeds, too. Oh, wow. The train will probably leave as well. Don't tell me there's an animation for that. Wow, there's even a sentry up in the tower. And a little German shepherd. Wow, the details are immense. Oh, the dog's not moving or there's no animation. Zero out of ten, literally unplayable. Get out of here, train. Yeah, back out. Wow, that is crazy cool, man. I've seen concept videos for this. We covered it a few months ago as well for the hyped playtest. And now it's finally here. Let's get cracking now on that mining. Let's go back to our science projects. All right, so let's do... Let's research a mine now. We might need to research storage. Some of these things don't tell us exactly what they do, though. I don't know what storage means, since we already have storage up here, and the train just delivered some there. So maybe that just means expanded storage. Regardless, it looks like some things are going to cost copper, so let's go ahead and start building some of the copper mines. We'll build a tunnel here. Hopefully that'll be enough to cover that, and maybe here for coal. We might eventually need more workers, but I don't know what we got for a workforce at the moment. Go ahead and see what we can do next. Uh, let's see, the mine and the mining are researched. Let's do... Uh, quarters will require copper ore, so let's do production. That just costs money, and we got plenty of that. All right, the Allies will attack us and conquer us in 14 days on all fronts. Next transport arrives in three minutes. Build ourselves a copper mine. Looks like that's a pretty good spot to build. Gives us the green. Cool. Excellent. All right. Coal mine, copper mine, iron mine. Build all three of those. Oh, it needs to be in the green. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I see. You can't build something unless a tunnel is first built on top of it. Interesting. So you have to lay out a tunnel, then the tunnel has to be complete, then you can build. Wow, the mine looks badass. A little of a variety in the appearance of each of the minecart. That's cool, man. That's good. All right, what can we do next? Now we're working on, let's see, storage is done. Metallurgy. We've got warehouses, uh, cement plants, workers' quarters, soldiers' quarters, uh, prefab, resource recovery, laboratory, steel mill, gold, smelting, tier two stuff, iron ore, weapons components. Oh, yes, we can make weapons here. I wonder if we can ship them to the fronts. There might be more things we can eventually ship to the front lines to help out the war effort. 
Especially if we become an underground factory, we can then start sending out all sorts of things like explosives. Another thing I think we need is a stone mine, and there seems to be stone there, so let's grab that as well. Ooh, that's a good deposit. Might be a good idea to check the, uh, I guess, the quality of the of the deposit sometimes. That one giving us 61. Okay, let's go for that. Double click to zoom, and boom. Good. All right, looks like we are consuming 990 out of 1,000 power. We're going to need ourselves another power uh, generator. And that means a greater chance of sabotage. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't want to send any money just yet. Oh, we can actually see resources coming in now, so we are generating coal. It's ticking up, iron ore. All those are ticking up little by little. Hard to see exactly how much we're bringing in from each mine or whatnot, but that's okay. And it looks like we'll need more water, too. Let's build another floor to our water pump. Okay, more water, more power. Ooh, there's a blizzard out there. Bring the dog inside. Wait, can you pet the dog at Project Wunderwaffe? You cannot. Zero out of ten. Wow. And here comes the train. Oh, and there goes the storm. That's really cool. Now, I believe the enemy can sabotage your train and attack it as well, so air defenses will be needed as well as ground troops. Security will need to be increased around the base. Lots of things to do. What do we have access to next? Science, quarters, storage, metallurgy. That'll require more iron ore we need. The train is sending us random things, but I don't know... Iron spool and wood. I don't know if it's if it is random or if there's ways we can manipulate that. Alright, let's build some more mines then. We got a lot of mining to do. Build there. Excellent. I love in this game how we're getting all of our resources from inside the bunker itself. Or at least we can make our own resources. There's gold there. With some copper ore in between. Where do we have some uranium? Is there any... Oh... Uron. Yes, there we go. Wow, deep down there, too. I wonder if this will uh, restrict us from going too deep until we've researched advanced mining techniques. Wow, the outside looks cool. Okay, well, we've got several mines ready to go. Let's do it. More iron ore. Excellent. Maybe we'll get some coal going, but that's behind there. We'd have to build up over the top. Stone mines are going. Let's build another stone mine. Okay, and I think we could probably build another coal mine down this way. Each tunnel section costs 5 kilowatts of energy and 5 liters of water. So that's our major expense for that. I guess that's the construction cost. Okay, let's build more mines. Water and power look okay. Let's build another power section. Oh, look at that. Water requires quite a bit of uh, materials. Gold, energy, cable, cement, steel tubes, and pipes. So some things we haven't yet started to produce. And I wonder, the further along we get with the Allies arriving, if they will actually start cutting off some of those supplies. Like, if we'll have to finally be fully self-sufficient. Which would make sense. Build a mine for coal. Any other materials immediately nearby? A lot of materials kind of in front of the base. I'll have to build another shaft down from here. No animation on the elevator, though. It would be nice to see workers and such going around. But it's a playtest. Things will have to be added later, I suppose. Now let's build ourselves an elevator. Down to about here. From here. Ah, we can't build an elevator shaft below the the warehouse, but we can build one here. We'll have the mine shaft go down here, okay. 
And we'll probably build it down to about there. Wow, look at all that iron ore, man. Woo! All right, we'll have to see if the resources ever get exhausted. Obviously, there's a number next to them, but there's no way to really tell how much of the resources remaining, is there? Oh, there is, 112 kilograms. So eventually this will be depleted and maybe just become a part of a tunnel. But we can also build through to the other side as well, although not there. We can also build here. But we also want to build up top so we can take advantage of all this coal. Look at that. Lots of coal there. Beautiful. Alright, let's get the iron ore. Build a tunnel there and there. And over here. I wonder if we can do multiple materials at a time. There's our iron ore. More on copper. I don't see any other... Uh, nope, I don't see any other... No, not seeing any other copper deposits anywhere. Well, there's more there. Let's go for that. Give me an elevator shaft. And a mine. There we go. Cool. All right, train's arriving in another four minutes. What do we got for research now? Now we can do metallurgy. Excellent. Let's research that. And then storage afterwards. We can't queue. Water and power looking good. Looking good. Oh, there we go. We got our coal mine ready. And back to the research center. All right, metallurgy is almost done. And then we'll have to work our way down to steel mill, although it might be a good idea to do warehousing. And resource recovery. Maybe that's for deconstruction or disassembly of buildings and parts. Oh, we have a worker's quarters. Let's go with that. Might be a good idea to get quarters so we can increase production. Maybe it gives us a boost. Well, that costs us copper ore. And science will cost us 10 gold ore. Which we should have plenty of. Ah, good. All basic science is almost ready. Looks like we have 820 gold. But it must be in gold bars. They want the ore. Let's do uh, workers. There we go. Ooh, the mines and stuff are looking nice. Increasing that complexity. The mine shaft must grow. All right, let's go for more copper. There we go. Lots of stuff at the surface. It's good. Now, do we have any gold ore near the surface? There's quite a bit of it over there. But we're going to have to go through the stone. All right, let's work on getting to that gold. Let's see. Well, we could go up and over. There's a lot of stone in the way, so that might be a good idea. Build a tunnel there. Elevator down to go further. Like we can go to about there. Ah, perfect. And we'll just build a tunnel over to the left. We should be able to build a mine shaft all the way down. Perfect. All right, that'll get us that gold. Gonna take a while to build, but it's worth it. Ah, oh, good. Now we have uh, workers' quarters. You need your workers to be strong. Food rations. Ooh, I didn't even see that on the list. Here comes the train, though. Should be on its way. What's it carrying this time? 
Iron spool and wood. There must be a way to get food. Let's see. Cement plant science. Well, let's do our cement plant then. That's easy. Rain's on its way. Oh. It looks like we can't... Oh, we can't demolish that, I think. There's no demolish. Okay. Can't build an elevator shaft there. Um... I guess we'll have to build this way. All right, I don't see a deconstruct button or a demolish button. So we'll just connect this away. There we go. Cool. It'll all build and look connected. All right, so we've got coal, iron ore, copper, and gold coming in, and stone. The only thing we don't have is, what, uranium? Luckily, we have a cement plant now, so grow even faster and become self-sufficient. Convert stone into cement. Ah, perfect. Let's build a... We'll build some of our industry over here under the... Wow, that's a massive building. Whew. Okay, let's build that down here. Wow, that's cool. So now we can have cement being produced. Now we're going to need that for the steel mill... And I assume the steel mill is probably going to need coal. Check that out. Worker's actually loading all that stuff into the cement plant. And mixing it all up. Excellent. Oh, water is completely out. That went way faster than I thought. Woo! There must be a way to store more water eventually. There must be a storage option for it. Steel tubes will be delivered via the train in two minutes as well as wood. Is there any... Okay, everything seems to be going okay. Okay, so now we just need more wood for the mines. Water. We just need to wait for some cement to be made. And for some steel tubes to arrive. And cement is available zero, but... Oh. Oh, we have recipes. Well, let's just make, um... So, this does everything for it. So it takes stone and turns it into crushed stone, then turns crushed stone into cement, and it can make prefabricated walls here, too. So we can actually order what to make. So it's going to take a while, and we could probably make multiple of these, too. But I think for now in the playtest, maybe the workers aren't necessarily needed. But I would assume in the future there's got to be a way to supply with food and to manage a workforce. It can't just be water and power. That seems too simple. Okay, let's see. Science. Let's research that with the gold ore that we're mining out. Scientist quarters with the gold that we have in storage. Nine days until the Allies arrive. And we have to make some more gold too, so that must be under the gold ore melting, yeah. So that we're going to need science. So resource recovery, steel mill. So to go down that line, we need science. That's going to be cool, man. So laboratory will cost us 120. But in order to get to gold smelting, we're going to need to hold on to some gold. We must be getting some. Okay, how are we doing on the cement? Cement is now at... Oh, we have 15 crushed ore. Twenty kilograms of stone. And the train will be back in eight minutes with more materials. Ah, they're bringing different. Okay, now they're now they're bringing the food rations. So as our base expanded it automatically ordered the things that we needed. Those steel tubes have been delivered and wood and things like that, too. I really wish there was a blueprint mode. I want to lay this out and then click go whenever it's ready. 
Well, this thing was making stuff, but it seems to have stopped. 30 seconds set to infinite construction. It's also taking rebar from there. Is it actually making cement? Okay, let's put one thing at a time then. We'll go ahead and make sure we're only making crushed stone for a while. Which we have 15, so we'll have them continuously produce that. We'll need a lot of crushed stone to make the cement. Allies will be here in nine days. Back to the command center. Does the front look any different? Not yet. But we can send gold to the front. But we can't set specific orders. Oh, I really would love to order, like, extra materials. But I guess just some things don't exist. However, you think it'd be easier to ship bags of cement or... Uh, you know, pre-mixed stuff or whatnot, or rebar, rather than building a whole underground factory for it. But I get it, I get it. <laughs> Good. Soon our weapon will be ready to build. Cement and water and food rations are needed there for some of the quarters. They all have different recipes. Okay, so now we have our laboratory unlocked. Is that an advanced... Uh do you want scientists to be smarter? Build them a laboratory. Oh, so that generates science points on top of the research. So this just simply does the research and might produce a little bit of uh, a little bit of science. But this, that's where we're going to research our science. So that'll cost us 30 gold and steel tube 60. So we'll still have to wait for the train to deliver those steel tubes of 100. Eight days remaining on that. And this is consuming 25 water. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have it make all three things. And see if it works. Next, let's move on to the science lab. So we just need steel tubes and gold to be delivered if we got it. And then we need to research that... Gold or melting in order to make the ingots that we can send to the front line. The canteen will be for general food distribution, production line. Could be for more uh, advanced things that take iron and take, you know, steel and cement or whatnot. Like, for example, maybe we can make, um, I don't know, like base defenses there. Efficient wood processing, metal processing, iron smelting. Oh, man. That's pretty amazing stuff, I've got to say. Here comes the train, one more again. Oh, a beautiful day out there, wow. They go quickly, don't they? Well, that is it for today's first look at Project Wunderwaffe coming soon to Steam. Thank you, everybody, for jumping in. Download it yourself and try it today. Steam Playtest. Go to their store page and give it a look. Pretty cool, actually. All right, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for the awesomeness, the positivity, and the greatness down below in the comment section. Glory to Raptoria, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>